Designing plastic parts like this phone cradle can require additional tools that take into account the manufacturing or assembly of the design. Analysis tools such as draft, undercut, and parting analysis can be used to interactively explore manufacturing possibilities. You can adjust the angle to help guide the parting line creation and separate the top and bottom of this cradle. The parting line graphic will stay visible until you're finished splitting the part. Fastening features in SOLIDWORKS automate the creating of many standard plastic features. The mounting boss just needs a position, orientation, and size. All sizes can be saved as a favorite for quick reuse. Using the section tool allows you to see inside the design to help select and visualize internal geometry. For the top mounting boss, you can use the bottom boss as a guide. The orientation, height, and position are selected from the bottom boss. For the fin direction and size, you can select an edge and edit any of the parameters in the Property Manager graphic. To locate the mating pin again, you can select the existing edges on the bottom mounting boss. So that the two halves interlock, another fastening feature can be used, the lip and groove feature. Select the top and bottom components to tell SOLIDWORKS which bodies will interlock. Then select the face and reference edge for the placement of the groove. Then the same for the lip. Again, you can use the property manager and edit parameter graphic to change any sizing. In a matter of seconds, the interlocking lip and groove is created. The top requires some ribs to add strength. Define the top thickness and draft angle, or use the Define Thickness at Wall Interface option to ensure there are no sink marks due to the rib thickness. SOLIDWORKS applications provide great capabilities you can use right away for design, simulation, communication, and file management to work faster and make your products better. Explore all the features in the demo library or contact your nearest SOLIDWORKS reseller.